today we're going to add a new sky to our existing image. I already drag and drop two images to my Luminar Neo. I will select the image and then click edit at the very top so I can see all of the tools on the right side. Search for the sky tool. It's AI based tool. And in this tool, the AI will kind of detect the sky automatically and fill it with the pattern of our choice. So let's select sky first. Maybe this one. And as you can see, this brand new sky texture is already applied on my sky. I didn't even make any precise selection. The program just detect this area for me. So that's great. Keep in mind there are some customizations here. We can adjust masking in case it's not perfect. If the kind of sky overlaps some objects, we can adjust that in masking section. In my case, it's good. And I can also click here sky adjustments and make this a bit more blurry if I like with this first slider or add a noise to it to match the rest of the image. If we got like kind of noisy image, we can add a haze to make it a bit brighter. I think that's a good idea. I'll make it a bit brighter and a bit blurry. And here it is. I got a brand new sky in this image. Let's go to back to catalog and try it one more time with this image. All right. So now I click again, edit, search on the right side for sky. Let's select the sky that you want to use with this one. Maybe this. The dramatic one. Yeah, it's really dramatic. Maybe too dramatic. So maybe the one above. All right, that's better. With the sky like that, I can, of course, move into other options and adjust the blur like before or give it a bit of noise. Add a haze. And that's it. That's how easy it is to add a new sky in Lumina Neo. Simply search for this sky AI option on the right in the editing section. I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.